Your mind, your mind, God created to think. Right? So guess what? Your mind is going to do what God created it to do. (laughs) He created it to think, so you're going to think, think, think all day long because you have a brain, you have a mind, and whatever you see before your eyes, whatever you hear, whatever you partake of, you're going to think about it. It's created to think. But you know what? He created your emotions to feel. Right? So sometimes we feel bad when we act out and we have anger and these things trouble us and we show out we feel bad about it but you know god created you to have anger god created you to use your emotions he created you to do that that is a part of your recreated person well then he created you to have a will he he created a will inside of you he said, I'm going uh, to create man, and I'm going to let man choose. He can choose where he wants to go, what he wants to do in life, who he wants to marry, who she wants to marry. The choice is yours. You can choose. But I'm going to tell you what to choose. I'm going to tell you to choose things that are full of life. So here's what's happening. We have the will. It's kind of inside in, in our heart. Then we have our emotions over here. We have our thinking over here. What happens when we're faced with things in our life, like the things that are mastering us, our emotions get involved in the things that are mastering us. Our our, um, thinking gets involved, and then it creates a stronghold in our life. So when the Spirit of God tells you to go a certain way, you have strong emotions, you have strong way that you've been thinking, you've created a habit in your life, guess what's going to happen to the will? It's going to carry out what you've been thinking and what your emotions are. That's why it is so important when the choice is ours, you choose to obey your master. That's why when we bring our thought life in line with the Word of God, which takes us actually reading it daily and sometimes many times in a day or listening to it, listening to the word, that we bring all of that in subjection to Christ and his word. We bring our emotions into submission to the word of God and to Jesus Christ being final authority. So you know what? I'm going to get my mind off of that. I'm going to die to that, but you know what? I'm going to live into the Word. I'm going to quit thinking about that, and I'm going to think about the Word of God. And what happens, we create new habits in our life. You know, you can go to Celebrate Recovery on Tuesday night here at 630 on Tuesday nights. It helps you go through a time in your life. You can get recognize how to do some of these things to move forward in this. But you know what? When you bring these things into captivity, it can be a bad captivity, but there can also be a good one. There's some things in our life we need to hold into captivity till we get a hold of it to know how we can choose life and not let our emotions and our thoughts and the things of this world control us. 